Hello, how's it going? Chris back on a mission down to the post office. I've got seven parcels in my rucksack. And uh, yeah, gonna send them off. You might be wondering, what are you running down? So much easier. Don't pay the parking, don't sit in traffic. And yeah, get to running, so it's all good. Um, I'll show you what's sold now. So you've got an idea of what's in there. So sales over the last couple of days have been really good. They've really picked up some nice, solid prices. Let me show you what I sold. So first up, we've got this Manchester United. I think this is the either the away kit or the third kit. I can't remember. Um, from 2015-16 season, it's got Memphis Depay name on the back, number seven. Size small, so not not ideal size. I paid five pounds for this in a charity shop, and that's gone for twenty pounds plus postage. That's not too bad at all. It hasn't taken too long to sell, so that's fine. Uh, next up, I've had this for a while. This is a, I guess you could call it vintage. It's a musto country. There we go. Um, like a really long riding jacket. It's like an equestrian horse riding jacket. Um, it's an okay condition. It's got a few marks. It's missing one of the straps on the arms. Where is it gone? There we go. Um, say it, it's all complete. The hood's there, or whatever you call that. Doesn't sort of go over your head. It sort of goes over your shoulders. All the buttons are present. I only paid two pounds for that, and I wasn't sure where to price it. Had it up for fifty for ages, then brought it down to forty. Um, then somebody offered me twenty on an offer. I thought, ooh, that's a bit low. Counted with thirty. Then they came back to twenty-five. And I thought, no, I want at least thirty for it. And then a day later, they sent me an offer for 30 quid, and I said, yep, do you know what? Why not? Um, if it was complete and in better condition, it'd probably go for a lot more, but so I only paid two pounds for it, and it's been lingering for a while. So for 30 quid, I'm more than happy with that. That's not a problem. And all my other sales have been jeans. So I've been listing quite a few pairs of jeans um, from that diesel bundle we saw a while ago. Yeah, I've already sold four pairs. One of them was a bit of a fail. Uh, I'll, I'll explain. So, um, these diesel Zatinis. Um, I didn't look at the comps properly at all. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Basically, I sold these for 25 quid. I probably could have got 40 quid for these, if not more. And they sold within about an hour. I thought, why have they sold so quickly? Oh, crap. Yeah, don't do what I do. Um, if you find diesel Zatinis, even in a small size, they are a... A boot cut, like a straight boot cut. No, what are they called? Call regular boot cut. There we go. Um, yeah, some of these watches can go for 60, 70 quid. I don't think these ones, I don't think they're, well, maybe. <laughs> maybe I priced it way too low. But yeah, these are the Zatinis. can do really, really well. So for 25 quid, somebody's got an absolute bargain, and I've learned a hard lesson. So, I mean, I've still made good profit. I only paid three pounds for them, um, but it could have been so much better. And those were the first ones I listed. I just I wasn't thinking, so look, it's fine, it's just it's less than learn. So next jean sale, somebody's actually bought three pairs. So again, from the same diesel lot that I picked up. So we've sold these Larkies. What, what wash is that? That's the 0831T wash. So nice of dark wash on those. And they've also bought two pairs of the New Fankner. These are the slim boot cuts, I believe. Yeah, regular slim boot cut. So there's these ones. They are pretty similar, to be fair. And then there's also those ones. There's a slightly different wash. There's those as well. So yeah, they spent, what were they up for each? 30 quid. They were 30 quid each, those ones. So again, they, they have sold quite quickly. So I don't know if Diesel's picking up again. Or if I just price them a bit low. But I say, soles are all over the place. And I found if I price diesels higher, they'll just sit around for ages. So I'd sort of rather get them out. But I don't know. So I'll, be, I'll be looking for diesels more and more now because they seem to be picking up again. But I have got a few more pairs to um, to sell. So there we go. Awesome stuff. Just check that is everything. I think that's everything. Diesel, diesel, diesel. Oh no, there's something else. Okay, last up. Now, you would have seen this in a recent pickup video. It's this sea salt um, shirt jacket thing. It's called the Morse code jacket. 
size large, lovely condition, um, no marks or stains to it. Paid eight pounds for that. That's one for thirty five pounds plus postage, and sold in a week. So, yeah, sea salt, a brand I'm definitely going to be looking out for in the future. Um, seems to do better with women's stuff, but hey, there's a demand for men's stuff too. Then I'm all for it. But I still got one to go, one a dark blue one, but. Yeah, that sand colour one's gone really quickly, so that is an awesome lot of sales. And uh, yeah, let's head on down. If I've got, if I've got enough time, um, might also go to a couple of charity shops if I have time to see what I got. I haven't had much luck of late, but you know, you don't know unless you look, so. I will see you when we get there. First up, we are in Hello. Ivy Bridge. There are three charity shops here. This is the first one. Let's see if they have anything worth buying. Well, I found this chaps. Well, that was sort of like a quarter button top. I wouldn't normally pick up chaps because it doesn't seem to sell too well. Chaps, Ralph Lauren, when they did their sort of uh, collaboration period, I would, but not chaps on its own. There's this Tommy Hilfiger pullover striped hoodie. Kind of cool for a fiver if you wanted it, but uh, me and Tommy, we don't get on too well. So uh, yeah, I wasn't picking that up. Don't worry, I'll get to that in a minute. Tracksuit top. There was this other, this other chaps one. Had a much better logo to be fair. Uh, again, it's five pounds. Nice big size, but yeah, they they just don't tend to sell too well. At least not for me. So back it goes. Now this, I couldn't actually work out what it was in the shop, but it's, this is a Munster rugby uh, like tracksuit training top from 2007 I think, so an older one. Uh, again, it was a fiver. I just find these like tracksuit tops, that just isn't a huge market for them. Uh, they don't sell too well, so for a fiver, I'll put it back. This looks interesting. Nice plain Ralph Lauren shirt. Um, again, sorry for the flickering, I don't know what's going on there. Nice plain Ralph Lauren shirt, nice sort of grey colour, size XL. I almost put it back because, well I did put it back, Look at that wash tag. Now, it was looking good, but that wash tag gives it away. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't, I don't think that's real, to be honest. Okay, next shop. This caught my eye. It's Connects. Um, I loved Connects when I was a kid. I absolutely loved it. This was a more modern one, but look at that. £4.50, and it says incomplete. Bit cheeky, if you ask me, to be honest. If you can't build the model, then well, what's the point? And there's also this one, which looks more like Lego than Connect, really. I don't think it was sealed. Um, and I think they wanted quite a bit for it. I think it was like six quid or something. Again, NASCAR's not huge in this country, so why not that? Lovely Tommy Hilfiger. I feel like a, like a pea coat. But 36 quid. Oof. I mean, I'm not sure if that's even good if you want it for yourself. Lovely, lovely thick coat, but uh, no. Talking to Tommy, he lives on. He's got some Tommy jeans. Um, a fiver? Have I showed you yet? There you go, five quid. Width 38 would be good, but there is a catch. Yeah, they're only a 30 inside leg. It's just too short. It's just too short for me. They'll be sitting for a long time. They're a 32 or a 34. Might be worth picking up, but not a 30. Just too strange, eh? Uh, Stranger shape. These look interesting too. These are some older diesel jeans. Interesting wash to them too. Sort of distressed but not. Six quid could be alright. So let's see where they're made. Made in Italy. Alright, looking good. Or are they? Let's, let's, let's look a bit closer because I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced by these to be honest. Alright, so made in Italy. Fine. Or, that's not going to focus, or made in USA. Okay, that's interesting. Or made in Thailand. Right, so they're having an identity crisis. Where are they made? They don't know. What on earth 
is going on there? I left them, but I they that did not sound cool. This was interesting too, like a Wrangler double breast pocket shirt. I what price is that? Answers on a postcard, please, because I could not work it out. I think it was five fifty, which seems a little bit steep. Again, I left it behind, but cool to see, but I mean at least make it clear. Heads up. Do not pick up K-Swiss. I repeat, do not pick up K-Swiss. Even if they're like a qu well, if they're a quid, that's fine. No, just don't do it. Top tip. Ah, oh, this could have been so good. So this is Farmopoly. It's sort of like an unofficial monopoly, but based on the farm. I've sold it before. Oh, that duck. Yeah. Wait, shut up. Wah, wah. <laughs> so this is Farmopoly. It did not look complete. I, the one I saw before had a lot more stuff in it, and I just, I just got the feeling that it wasn't all there. They also wanted eight quid, which is, I just don't think a bit cheeky to be honest. I think I got 25 plus postage for it. So if you can find it cheap, it sells pretty well. But I just was not feeling this one at all. I just, I think it was missing stuff. Yeah, I just, there were cards like stacked together. But it just seemed like it was missing stuff, and to be honest, for eight quid, I'm not prepared to take the risk. Not for three times uh, return, so. I'm not even going to nope. touch him. He's still on that table, guard it. And that duck. Okay, next shot. Again, this was like a sort of a town of missed opportunities, or sort of close calls, I guess. This was a fat face, I think they're called Airly, the Airly, the quarter button top, bit cotton. But it had loads of like those greasy stains. You know the stains you can spray your stain remover on, but they just will not come out. Front and rear. It's like they've been cook you know cooking on a barbecue and they've just been spitting everywhere. Loads of stains. Five quid, which if you want it for just for yourself and you don't mind the stains, that's okay. But no, I, I did not want to. They would not want to risk that one to be honest. Which is a shame because. Um, they tend to do quite well, so 20, 25 quid in the right size and colour, but no, left that one. And then another pair of jeans. So these were supposedly Dolce and Gabbana, out the way tag. Um, but there are some problems here. One, that tag, 20 quid, ouch. Second of all, that wash tag, uh, yeah, not filling me with confidence at all to be honest. That's cheeky. Um, so let's have a look at the back. And the hems seem to be okay, but ooh. Now, I don't know my D&G jeans that well, but something just doesn't, doesn't seem right with these. Buttons seem okay, but hang on, Dude, it's what's that? The button. It's missing the yep. button. I want 20 quid. Jeez. Yeah, you tell them. Disgraceful. Do you know what the worst tag you'll find in a charity shop is? As seen. You think, crikey, what's wrong with them? Well, obviously that lace is pretty knackered. But, ah, 35 quid. I mean, they're only mountain warehouse as well. Nothing special. Same goes for these. Pair of Barkers. Barkers just seem to sit and sit and sit. Not like Lokes. Or Grenson's. And 20 quid. I think they're a size 7. Bye bye! This was a, uh, a yeah, Dunhill Bomber Harrington jacket. I don't know if it was, it was legit. It looked shrunken. I don't know what size it was. And they wanted 30 quid. So, a good brand to look out for Dunhill. I've never seen one before. Um, has a really good sort of selfie rate. And sold prices but okay so first shop in my local town centre found this Hugo Boss tie and I was intrigued by it it's 100% silk has a nice pattern to it although I couldn't describe it in words made in Italy and I think it was only a pound or a pound fifty and I thought ooh it could be okay but honestly looking at souls be lucky to get eight quid for that so uh, I think I'll leave that one don't worry I did put it back in the correct place this was a Rohan jacket, it was a size small, unisex, and it was only three quid. They're yeah, Nimbus jacket. Not great materials, but that's okay. But look at the tag, broken zip. I looked at it and thought, is it broken? Yeah, basically the, um, 
the side that doesn't have the the I call it the tr zip train on. Basically, it was coming away from the material, and I don't well, I couldn't work out how to sew it back on because there's no material to be sewn onto on one of the sides. If that makes any sort of sense, so I sort of thought maybe I could sew this up, but um, I thought Do you know what. <laughs> there were none sold. I couldn't be bothered. I couldn't be bothered, even though it was only three quid. And again, don't worry, I, I did put it back in the right place. I just couldn't be bothered to, uh, to attempt that. Now, again, something I don't normally pick up, Ralph Lauren polos, because they are saturated. But this one was a double XL, custom fit Pima stretch cotton, on a new tag. Just struck a chord with me. It's a nice condition, nice sort of plain thing, so I, I, I took that. Look at this thing. What's that called? Heavy construction. This is like a dragon shirt. Um, looks at some comps, and yeah, not good at all. I thought it would be like a like an anime thing, but um, yeah, it's basically got no value to it at all, which is a shame. Which is a shame because it's such a cool shirt. It's just a bit too niche. So uh, yeah, left it. Then they have these shoes. Can you tell what they are? I couldn't for a start. They are actually barkers, like barker loafers. Now, as I said earlier, barkers don't sell that well. I couldn't even work out what size they were. They were only a fiver, which is uh, actually not too bad, but I left them. There's just, I, yeah, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. Now, always check the women's. These are a pair of true vintage Adidas, almost like compression pants. They're from 1999. Not that's going to pick it up too well. Uh, vintage tag, and they're three pounds twenty-five. Really good condition. No snags, no stains. But you know what? I fancy giving them a go. Probably only fifteen quid, but that's okay. Now, would you have bought this though? Laura Ashley, vintage. Again, made in the UK. One hundred percent linen skirt. There's just not much going for it. I didn't pick it up. Four pound fifty. Might have struggled to get fifteen odd quid. There's just not enough going for it, visually, for me to pick it up. It's a bit too plain, which is a shame, because uh, this stuff can sell really well, but perhaps not this one. Okay, deep breath. We're going into Cancer Research UK. I'm pointing out those Adidas superstars in the window. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. Although, annoyingly, I couldn't actually reach the pair that had the price tag on. So I went for the ultimate pe uh, side, anyway. Yeah, a bit wet. These felt so light. They were legitimate, but knowing this shop, I didn't even want to know what the price was. So I left it. Oh, bit of finger action. Now, ah, oh, this is annoying. Look, they've got now got a vintage section. As if the prices weren't high enough. Look, eight quid for a plain Jane Fruit of the Loom hoodie. Missing the toggle. Printed logo. Oh dear. Oh dear. Just, no, that's going to sit there for a while. Hopeless. I don't understand these vintage sections. It's just one person's like opinion on what vintage is. And as you'll see shortly, uh, they haven't got a clue. But, oh, again, case in point. Look, Marks and Spencer, St. Michael. It is in every charity shop. And they think it's something special. It isn't. And they want £7.50 for it. And I think it's shrunk. But it gets worse. Are you ready? Are you ready? Any moment now. Here we go. Look, fruit of the loom. Is that vintage? Nope. Nowhere near. And they think it's 90s. They haven't got a clue in here. Haven't got a clue. <sighs> Shake my head. They've even got some kibichi. Oh, I don't pick up kibichi anymore. It doesn't sell well for me. It doesn't sell at all, so. There we go. £7.50. Acrylic. <laughs> Deary me. Alright, moving up to the coats. Men's section, here we go. Let's hope some better luck. <laughs> Fat chance. Nothing in particular. Nothing in particular. High prices though. Ooh, I see you. Aquascutum tag. Come here. Aquascutum golf for Bentley. This was like a lightweight sort of polyester shell jacket. Wasn't like waterproof or anything. Possibly a wind cheater. Nice little em embroidered hit on the rear. Coarse, 
doesn't have a price. And that worries me. That means I've got to go up and ask. <laughs> I mean, you never know. They, they might price it low. Um, but, like I said, knowing this shop, it won't be. But you don't know unless you give it a go. And if they ask you if, if you want to buy it, you have the right to say no. So uh, let's see. Okay, this is what I mean by being a bit clueless. Regatta. 12 quid. Now, there is a big sort of... What do you call it? It's called Trego Mill. It's like a massive like garden centre. Basically sell everything. You can buy that new for about 20 quid in Trego. So, 12 quid for Regatta. That's super cheeky. But check this out. Vintage crag hoppers. Like a utility jacket. Pretty neat for your, uh, for your fishing or angling or whatever. But £7.50? No. Just no. Surely not. Have I actually found something that I could potentially flip for a decent profit? So these are a pair of A6 gel uh, run mile, mile run shoes. I can't remember what, uh, what the name was. I checked the soles, they seemed fine. Back to the heels are fine. They weren't like, uh, the glue hadn't gone, so they weren't like flaking out anywhere. Grip was still good. I mean, a little bit of wear, they have been worn. But not too much at all, really. Nothing that a bit of uh, a bit of elbow grease and some scrubbing won't get won't get out. Oh, well, do you know what? I can give, give those a go. Size ten and a half. Toes weren't coming up. Weren't any holes in the mesh. Laces were good. Yeah, they're gonna be a winner. All right, it's a couple of other just little bits. Nike, big print uh, hoodie there, but nine pound fifty. Ugh, new age. This is the thing, like, you can probably get one on eBay, on auction, for less. So, why bother going going out your way, you know, when you can sit at home in your pants? And a brand that you should be looking out for, but not here, is uh, Fox, Fox Racing. Sells really well for me, but a size small hoodie, washed out tag, six quid, nah. And it looks really small. But yeah, Fox Racing, keep an eye out for it. Okay, I haven't found Orvis for a while. These are a pair of Orvis cotton, I guess they are chinos. Um, they had a bit of a sort of moleskin feel to them, but they definitely weren't. But they definitely, they're definitely vintage. Um, not that means a huge amount with Orvis. Size 40 waist, so nice big size. And I'm pretty sure the leg was a 34. So a real big and tall size. Now, <laughs> what I didn't notice in the shop, they had a couple of stains on them. Um, I'm hoping I can get the stains out. I am hoping. I did check the uh, the leg hems. They haven't been taken up, but there were a couple of stains I just didn't notice in the shop. So hopefully a wash will get them out. But they were 4.95, so uh, not the end of the world. All right, final item for my uh, local town. My little lunch break squiz. I thought these might be a banger, but they're not. Well, I don't think so. They're called Ain Aigna Aigna jeans. Made in Italy, I thought they might be one of these like niche brands that sells really well, but uh, looking at solds, they really don't sell well at all, at least not on these shores. Uh, they, they have promise, they definitely have promise, but uh, nah, it's the sort of thing that probably sit around, and to be honest, I'm pr pretty sure they have quite a short leg as well. Um, I think they were like a sort of 38-30, and you know what I feel about 38-30s, or oh, it's a 36 there, I don't know. But, uh, no, I'll put them back. I just, I'm sure they profit there, but they might sit around for just ages and ages. So, nah, I left them. I've got enough stock, so don't want to take too many risks, you know. And that is it. And that was it. So, in summary, I went to Ivy Bridge and I bought nothing. I went to my local town, New Tablet today, and I bought four things. So I got... Those ASICS trainers that you saw. The Ralph Lauren polo shirt. The Orvis trousers that either go clean. And these Adidas um, sweatpants that weirdly have a, a tag on as well. Not like an Adidas one, but like a... How much they were new? 17 quid. Back in 1999. So, you know... 
I got some bits. But here's the thing. With car boot season drawing to a close soon, Charity Shops are the, sort of the go-to place to get stock to resell, right? But oh my goodness, they are a battle. They're a real battle. Despite what YouTube makes you think, you can't just go out and find absolute bangers every time you, you know, go searching. Because you don't. The reality is you've got to persist. You've got to persist, persist, persist. And keep persisting until you find those good stuff. I'll be attacked by a fly now. Thanks, mate. Just want to film here. Reminds me of that Family Guy sketch. Go on, 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 go on. There we go. Blooper. But no, like, you've got to really persist with charity shops. I mean, I've been out countless times and come back with nothing. It's just one of those things. And you can, you have like the, you can have the knowledge of the whole shop, crockery, women's clothing, men's clothing, uh, records, bric-a-brac, the whole lot. You still might not find anything worth picking up. So yeah, it's not like car boots where you can find stuff left, right and center. You really have to persist. And I do think that some areas are much better for charity shops than others, like just by and large. So. Yeah, stick with it, everyone. Stick with it. You know, your your patience and your perseverance will be rewarded. But despite what you watch on here, you know, it doesn't mean you're going to find gold on every outing, you know. So I'll leave it there. Hopefully a sub half an hour video, which is rare for me. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please do drop a like. Um, if you want to leave a comment too, please do. And if you want to subscribe to my channel for uh, hopefully more similar content coming out soon, uh, please do. And I'll have another video up within the week, hopefully. So take care. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.